Tonight we're talking in class number five about revelation knowledge. Ephesians chapter one, I want to read three verses, 17 through 19. And I want to go slow because this is chock full of revelation. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you something. May give unto you, what? The spirit of wisdom and revelation. Notice you need both. Yes. We need both. And where's that revelation and wisdom? It's in the knowledge of him. A key word right there. Key three words, I should say. The knowledge of him. For what purpose? That the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance is in the saints. <laughs> and, oh, there's more. There's more. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us word who believe according to something. There's that legal word according to the working of his mighty power. So it's not by our might or our power, but by his power, his might, his spirit. Now I want to read it again because I, I think we just need to see it again. Have you ever noticed words pop out to you when you read it the second time? Ephesians 1, 17 through 19, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, he is the father of glory, may give unto you something the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Where? In the knowledge of him. That's what we're really gonna camp on tonight. Mm -hmm. That the eyes of your understanding, here's the reason why we need this, that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. For what purpose? That you may know what is the hope of his calling. How many of you know you have a calling? Mm -hmm. Amen? That we might know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance is in the saints. We have the riches of the glory of his inheritance in us. We have it in us. Not just the sweet by and by. But it's already in us. It's referred to as the riches of that glory of his inheritance in the saints. And, <laughs> I love it. What is the exceeding greatness of his power to us? Word. Who believe according to the working of his mighty power. So in that uh, three verses, we can begin to see concerning the revelation of the knowledge, revelation in the knowledge of him. The more we have the knowledge of him, the more we'll have accurate revelation. Amen. Amen. The more we have the knowledge in and of him, the more we'll have accurate revelation. Because all of the knowledge is in him. And he is in us. Wow. I think in, in the regular religious mind, sometimes because we do desire wisdom and revelation, mm -hmm. We always want to have wisdom and revelation. And we were looking for wisdom and revelation, you know, in the natural intellectual way. Uh, you know, it's not the, it's like, we, oh, I want to have knowledge and revelation so that I can yeah. know things. But no, he says, yeah. that's not the revelation I want you to have. In fact, it's, that's, it's the revelation to know. That's him. exactly where we want to start in wasted knowledge. Wasted yeah. knowledge. Wow. Because we're chock full yeah. 
of wasted knowledge. Mm -hmm. wow. Wasted yeah. knowledge is the temporal <laughs> Many times. at the expense of the eternal. Mm -hmm. I say that again. Is wasted good? knowledge is the temporal at the expense of the eternal. Mm. Mm. The enemy is always trying to flood us with some kind of knowledge. Yeah. Mm. And sometimes we put too much importance in it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we need to defrag, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> or what do you call it? Uh, defrag, uh, yeah. Defrag, defrag and get rid of, delete some stuff. Yes. Because we know too much. We do. <laughs> or we think, we think we do. We do. Oh, you said think? Yeah. yeah, we think it's important. That's our problem. We're thinking too much. Yes. Or we think we do. So I want you to see this, uh, follow along with this as, as the Lord downloaded it to me this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Hosea chapter 4 and just uh, verse 6 part A. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Or the Hebrew word is deat, meaning acknowledging. My people are destroyed for a lack of acknowledging. That makes because they're too full of knowing other things. But there's so much to know. <laughs> Isn't there? Yeah. Really. But some of it's wasted knowledge. Yeah. So, they are jammed with preconceived knowledge from outward assessments mm. mm -hmm. or history mm. or focused on asking for knowledge concerning current issues. Mm -hmm. We think knowledge, we tend to think because we've been uh, cultivated that way in society that knowledge is for knowing things. Yes. Mm -hmm. And That's we do right. know things. We have to know things. Yeah. But, but we can get so full mm. and crammed with knowing so much that we can't determine what is wasted and what is essential. Because you're constantly being flooded with some thought yeah. from outside. Does that make sense? So we have to realize that he said, my people are destroyed for a lack of acknowledging because they've got too much knowing about something that doesn't matter. And in the case of the Old Testament, it was knowing the law, but not understanding it or knowing more right. about their sinful nature than yeah. being in the image of God. Concentrating on the negative part of the law instead of. So they're jammed with preconceived knowledge from outward assessments. Uh, they're loaded down with history. Or they're focused on asking for knowledge concerning current issues. But, but isn't that what the world teaches us since yes. we're five? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <clears throat> yeah. So we have to defrag the kids. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm not so sure Google was a great invention after all. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, this is interesting. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 15. For this people's heart is waxed gross. Mm. Their ears are dull of hearing. Mm. Their eyes have they what? Closed. Closed. Mm. Lest at any time mm. they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, mm. and should be converted, mm. and I should heal them. They were loaded down with their preconceived mm -hmm. ideas. They closed their eyes, they closed their ears, and uh, in fact, the scripture goes on to call them a stiff-necked people. They knew too much about the wrong thing. That's what religion will do to you. Yeah. And this is an interesting scripture. Jesus in 11, uh, Luke eleven fifty two said, woe unto you lawyers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I, I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but I want you to note, Jesus went on from addressing Pharisees to speaking to lawyers. <laughs> wow. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it is. Woe unto you lawyers. Hmm. 
for you have taken away the key of knowledge. Yeah. Well, the lawyers were chock full of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> True. But just regulation knowledge. Mm -hmm. right. Legalism. Legalism. You have taken away the key of knowledge. The Greek word is gnosis, meaning perception and understanding. You entered not in yourselves, and them that were entering in, you hindered. Oh. Wow. Okay, that's really interesting. So Jesus went from addressing the Pharisees to speaking to lawyers, uh, regulation knowledge instead of revelation knowledge. Mm -hmm. People knew they had it down pat how to get atoned for their sins. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't understand being redeemed. Because you can't be regulated, you have to have revelation. First. That's very good. Are we good so far? Yes. Okay, I want to keep going then. 1 Corinthians 2.14. And I do see we have some people on here. Please share and let people know we're on. 1 Corinthians 2.14. This is very interesting. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. Yep. For they are what? Foolishness, Foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them. No. Know no. them. In other words, know there is to be intimate. Mm -hmm. yeah. Neither can he know them. Because why? They are spiritually discerned. So the natural man or the, the mindset of the natural man or the carnal man can't receive mm -hmm. uh, the, spirit, the, things the spirit, the things of the spirit of God. Neither can he know them. This is why the old man has to die. Mm -hmm. So that we can uh, have, have the new man rise up. So. Knowledge, I wanted to kind of outline this. Knowledge has several different Hebrew and Greek words, and I, I didn't even put all of them, but we were only here for an hour. <laughs> so the Hebrew word nekar means to acknowledge something. The Hebrew word yada, how many of you ever heard somebody say yada, yada, yada? yada, yada. <laughs> Is, means to consider and think through. The Hebrew word mada, means to take direction, the Hebrew word for knowledge. The Hebrew word dat for knowledge means skill. The Greek, now we get over into the Greek word gnosis means understanding and perception. But then <clears throat> the Greek word for knowledge can also be synesis, where we get our word synergy or alignment to the source. Mm -hmm. Wow. Anybody getting anything yet? Mm -hmm. So the natural man has this process backwards from the outside in. Wow. They think, no, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with trying to find a group that I can hang with. Mm -hmm. They go backwards. You know, they start with uh, saying, well, I, I want to acknowledge something, but they don't acknowledge God. <clears throat> so these different aspects of knowledge are vital as a process in understanding the multidimensional uh, definition of knowledge. And again, we're just touching a few. So a lot of times when people acknowledge something Whatever you acknowledge, you will take heed to. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. you'll keep. Yeah. And if you take heed to that, then you might get your direction from that. You'll consider and think through it. You'll begin to get an understanding and perception based on that source. And then you'll want to hang around people that believe that way. It's called a culture. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Am I going too fast? We good? Mm -hmm. So what we need to understand is... God said, acknowledge me. Yes. Acknowledge me. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct your path. So knowledge has to begin in him. 
and of him, not about things. And this has been our history. This has been our prayer sometimes. Lord, I need some knowledge about whether or not to get this job. <laughs> Please show me some direction about whether I should get this job. And God says, why don't you just acknowledge me? Mm. Have knowledge in me. The more you know about me, the more I will show you the rest of this definition. Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So let's skip the wasted knowledge. <laughs> And going into working the knowledge in the revelation. This is what we've, we read at the very beginning. The spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So we've got to know how to work the knowledge in the revelation. Because a lot of people want a revelation. And they think the revelation is automatically getting the knowledge. But revelation alone is not enough. Yeah. Because you could take off in any direction you want to with it. Yeah. But we have to know how to work the knowledge in the revelation. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Without giving up culture, you can't do it. Yeah, especially certain aspects. Yeah, because we are, we, in the culture is what, what history tells us. What's, you know, basically the world's acceptance of knowledge. Well, you know, so we, we, we get into that because everybody else is. Yeah. So we got to know what they're saying. Otherwise, we're not communicating with them. Yeah, but still, a lot of people basically, and maybe I've been guilty of it in the past. I don't know, maybe you have. Lord, give me a revelation. Mm -hmm. And he's probably saying, I could give you one, but you wouldn't have any idea what it is because right. you're not seeking the knowledge. Mm -hmm. but you cannot bear it. <laughs> what? But you cannot bear it. You cannot bear it. Here's an example. Revelation is not enough. Let's right. see if I'm backed up with scripture. All right. John chapter 12, verses 28 and 29. Remember the where, I think it was where Jesus has just been baptized by John. And then Jesus says, Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, mm -hmm. I have both glorified it mm -hmm. and will glorify it again. Mm -hmm. Now you would think if you're standing there and you're hearing God <laughs> speak audibly, you're going to get it. Yeah. But yeah. see, revelation was not enough yeah. because the people, therefore, that stood by heard it and said that it thundered. It and others said an angel must have spoke to him. They all had their preconceived ideas. And that was standing in the way of them seeing and knowing what the revelation was about. Isn't this good tonight? Yes. So I'm going to say something that's going to maybe upset some people out there. But I want you just to hear my heart. Consider it. Many revivals became about signs. Now, there's been some great revivals in the past, and God did some great things, and I'm not saying anything about that. But sometimes people took more about the sign of the revelation or the, the miracle and the wonder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So revivals came, became about, in some cases, became about the sign or the outward. And the knowledge of where God was moving us to was missed. Because revelation knowledge is not about what to do about circumstances, <laughs> but revealing eternal purpose in God's will beyond it. Every revival was not about what was happening. Every revival was about why it was happening. Oh, come on, somebody. And <clears throat> sometimes it was missed because we latched on to the outward sign and made a denomination. Mm -hmm. we, camp, camped there. we camped there. Instead of moving into understanding the knowledge that was in. Mm. It's like worshiping a billboard and not reading it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 
So many revivals became about signs outward and the knowledge of where God was moving us to was missed. Revelation knowledge is not about what to do about circumstances, but revealing eternal purpose in God's will beyond it. Today is about setting tomorrow. So God's doing an inward work. Yes. And it'll produce outward signs. So yeah. Revelation, as you know, being here with Apostle Chris, he said this many times. Revelation is the same Greek word as manifestation. Or the Greek word apocalypsis. So Revelation is the same Greek word as what? Manifestation. Manifestation. Defined as, oh, oh look at this, mm -hmm. laying bare, <laughs> making naked, mm -hmm. a full disclosure of truth, <laughs> prophetic instruction concerning divine things before unknown, mm -hmm. making mysteries no. known. Mm -hmm. So a revelation was never meant to be a ooh and an ah like fireworks. Ooh, yes. ah. But it was meant to reveal something. The knowledge that God was working in it. So, in my past, I got so excited about a revelation. Because I'm, I'm kind of a revelation kind of guy. I got so excited about the revelation, I took off with it. And God had to teach me to stay in my presence. Because I wanna, want you to know what I'm talking about. And you're taking off with your idea of what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so. Authorized knowledge has a light. Or has a frequency. And a light. <laughs> so authorized knowledge has a light or a frequency. 2 Corinthians 4, 6, for God who commanded the light to shine, how? Out of darkness. Out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give something. Light. The light of the knowledge of the glory of God. Here's another case in point where religious tradition has missed it. Many times they sought the glory. Who oh, the glory? We're praying for the glory. Glory come down. But what he says here is, very clearly, he says to give the light of the knowledge of the glory. So God was saying, if you seek the knowledge in me, mm -hmm. you'll see the glory. But if you seek the glory, you might have an experience. <laughs> right. But you don't, won't know what happened. It's not, yeah. it's not lasting. So he's shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. <laughs> then he says, now this was happens when we have that revelation knowledge. 2 Corinthians 2.14 Now thanks be unto God, mm -hmm. which always causes us to what? Triumph, Triumph in okay. Christ mm -hmm. and makes manifest the savor of what? Knowledge. His knowledge by us. Amen. In every place. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm getting excited tonight. <laughs> Can I read that again? Yes. Thanks be unto God that always causes us to triumph where? In Christ. And makes manifest a savor. You carry a savor of his knowledge, of his knowledge, the knowledge of him. By us, we carry it into every place. Yes, by us. Yeah. Wow. Amen. When you get to a certain point in your walk with the Lord, I mean, I see what I have to say this right. You don't even seek revelation anymore. You seek knowing him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And revelation automatically comes. Mm -hmm. You get to the point to where it's not about getting a revelation just so I can know more. 
God says, are you learning how to work the no you got? You mean we don't look very spiritual? Huh? You mean we don't look very spiritual? How do you mean? Well, because when we, you know, really feel like we're receiving a revelation, sometimes we kind of get carried away with it. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm way, I'm getting really spiritual now. You yeah. know, no, we're impressed with ourselves. Because, yeah. you know, that's how humans are. Mm -hmm. That's how we, that's the pit we get into all the time. Yeah. And that is not... It's like you said, we're not going to be looking for that. It, mm -hmm. it will come, but it will be, you know, more natural. Yeah. Natural in us to... Well, the scripture says him. that I may know him. I want to know him. And out of that will come the revelation. Mm -hmm. So then it brings us to wisdom. Mm -hmm. Wisdom in the knowledge. We talked about wasted knowledge. We talked about working in the knowledge, working the knowledge in the revelation. Now we're going to talk about wisdom in the knowledge. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. even when you've got a little more of the knowledge of the revelation, you still don't want to leap out there. Because now you need wisdom. Wisdom in the knowledge. And we're still talking about God's will. All wisdom, all knowledge, all revelation has to emerge out of his will. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. So wisdom in the knowledge is the application to manifest his glory. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. So Proverbs 9.10, you know this one very well. Yes. The fear of the Lord is what? Beginning the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. <laughs> You, you know, I'm going to go as far to say, I mean, I, mean I, I got a news source. I know how to get some news without having to watch TV all the time. I keep up with the news, but I also filter a lot of it because I don't need to know what's going on in the world to know where I stand. I need to know. Yeah, that's true. I need to know where he stands. I need to know. Him and in knowing him, he reveals all things. So then if you do happen to watch a news program, you say, you guys got it all wrong. Yeah. <laughs> because I got the intel. Yeah, right, right, right. Right? That's exactly how. Have you ever wondered why people watch soap operas? <laughs> we used to. We used to. You know, you, you know why? Because they like a revelation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it yeah. his baby or hers? <laughs> we know, want to know. Are they going to or are they not going to get married? You know, and that's why also people like mysteries. That's why they like uh, even watching the news is they like a revelation. But they're crammed with wasted knowledge. Wasted knowledge, exactly. Because it's, if it's taking the place of the eternal purpose, yeah. it's useless. Oh, that's good. So I think, I think as long as we don't lose that, Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that we can't watch TV and see some, oh, yeah. you know. We like our mysteries. <laughs> we yes. like our mysteries. Yeah. But I mean, like it's not taking over our life as if it was like, yeah. we really have to know and we really have to, you know. It's, yeah. it's, it's, We're not going to say we, we don't ever binge watch anything. What? We don't anything. care who shot Jay <laughs> huh? No, we no, don't care. Right. Oh. I don't that's, even that's remember. That's news. <laughs> I don't even remember that. But you know what I'm saying? What that's why, that's why people... That's why they watch the news is because they want a revelation. <laughs> they want to know what's yeah. going to happen. And they don't realize that the knowledge is in them. And they don't need to seek the revelation. They need to seek the knowledge. And then the wisdom in the knowledge. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. Not just for what we face. But for whose face and image we carry. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's good. The knowledge of the holy. If you have the knowledge of the holy, you'll have understanding of all things. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. But we want to seek all things first. You know, and God says, seek me first. Yes. Seek my kingdom first. And all these other things will be added Amen. to you. Yeah. Yeah. So Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and desire that you might be filled with something. What? 
with the knowledge of what? His will. His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Mm -hmm. What are we going to be filled with? The knowledge, not of how to deal with current events, all these kind of things. That'll come. But with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. That you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Being fruitful in every good work. And, everybody say and. 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 Increasing in what? Knowledge. The knowledge God. of who? God. God. Amen. Yes. yes, amen. That's all the knowledge I need. That's, yes. that's it. Just the Simple. knowledge of God. Acknowledging Him. Having intimacy with Him. Mm -hmm. uh, allowing Him to move in me. In Him we live and move and have our being. Mm -hmm. So this presents a synergy of multiplication. Mm -hmm. well, I hope somebody will shout or say amen mm -hmm. now. Because this is, where, this is why I need you, you need me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, Barney did not come up with that. The purple dinosaur did not come in. Oh, never mind. Okay, you don't we watch. We have grandchildren. We have grandchildren. Anyway, yeah. I love you. You yeah. love me. We're yeah. a happy family. Okay. So, when we are walking in the knowledge of Him together, oh, we're getting some love going on in it. Okay. We then, we now have a synergy. Did you know that this synergy is the biggest threat to the devil? Because one of us can put a thousand to flight, yeah. two can put ten thousand to flight. Mm -hmm. He wants to keep us arguing and mad at, mad each, at each other, other. Yes. so that we will have more knowing about what we don't like rather yeah. than knowing I mean, yeah. into agreement. It's like, I know yeah. this, well, I know this, I know that. No, you don't. No, I'm right. You're that's right. It's, that's what the enemy does. He wants to Knowledge say. is, uh, what was it? It was, um, it sounds like the word synergy. It's synesis, oh, synesis, the Greek word synesis, and this is what we're talking about now. This presents a synergy of multiplication, Colossians 2, 2 and 3, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto the riches of the full assurance of the understanding, to what? The acknowledgement of the mystery of God and of the Father, and uh, of whom we, uh, in whom are hid, oh, all look at this, <laughs> all the treasures oh, of see. wisdom and knowledge. In him is hid. Mm -hmm. This is why we need to know, as we've talked about tonight, Habakkuk 2.14, the earth shall be filled mm -hmm. with something. Mm -hmm. with the the knowledge. knowledge of the glory. <laughs> This is what's going to make a difference. This is what we're about to see, uh, kingdom citizens. We're about to see a colonization take place in the earth. Yes, yes. Not just the glory of the Lord, but the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. The knowledge. Many will be seeking just the glory of the Lord for a That's, move and for an experience. But yeah. we want the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters saturate the sea. That's it. Because if you wow. look at the not like the glory, you want looking for the glory. Looking for the manifestation, looking for the miracle. Look at you, you, you're in the wrong. You're looking at the, is that wrong precept mm -hmm. in your mind, the wrong concept. Mm -hmm. well, that's good mind. precept and concept. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna say good night to uh, Facebook. Hey, I hope some of you will share uh, even after it's recorded and posted because this is a good class tonight. Amen. 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 Thank you. Confirmation. <laughs> All right, well, we want to say together, what do we say? To, to the, the king. king.